when I see my land washing away, it is just heartbreaking because you know, everybody works hard and you, and you have a dream and, and it's literally washing out from under your feet. So we run an endurance stable where we breed, train endurance horses and it's the key for, for horses to grow up big and strong and be healthy uh, athletes for us and so our land is so important to us because uh, of that reason. The sample site is very important to the Mary River restoration. It's been on the Burnett Mary Regional Group's radar for quite some time as a high contributor of sediment uh, into the Mary catchment which leads into the Great Sandy Straits Ransar wetlands and the Great Barrier Reef. The sample site's located right next to the township of Kenilworth and that particular area had been heavily mined for sand and gravels in the late 20th century and that's led to really, really active riverbank erosion and it's probably one of the biggest sediment producing sites in the Mary River Valley. Collaboration is extremely important uh, to these types of projects. We're very lucky to, to get funding from the regional land partnerships to conduct this work. So the Burnett Mary Regional Group has engaged uh, MRCCC who are uh, well known in this area and they've been able to provide that link for BMRG to connect with the landholders. Luvium Consulting was engaged uh, for the engineer works and design and DWT Earthworks was engaged to conduct the earthworks. So we developed up a design which used a cut fill approach which means we utilise some of the soil generated from the earthworks as part of the stabilisation works but within that process we needed to design and construct a new low flow channel within the river so we had to design riffles and pools to match the existing features within the riverbed. We're actually recreating the habitat for the Mary River Cod, slowly. It'll take a longer time um, to recover than it did to degrade, um, but they are spawning now in the river where they may not have been 30 years ago. So we installed these timber piles which sort of act like an artificial forest. They're vertical piles that sit within the riverbank and as water flows through them, it slows down the water and can drop out sands and silts and that helps maintain the sandy bank habitat that's really important for the Mary River turtle and allows the vegetation to establish on the upper bank. The landholder is really necessary for the survival of that project. And it's absolutely essential because they need to keep their cattle off the site so the fence monitoring and repairing after floods is just so critical. The landholder are the eyes on the ground and, and the, the doers really. Prior to the uh, stream bank restoration, there was around 6,100 tonnes of sediment departing this site each and every year. So this site restoration will reduce that amount by about 90%, which is a considerable sediment saving. We're hoping that in the next 20 years we might have a bit of a subtropical rainforest along the bank rather than land uh, falling in, into the water. You walk to the edge and the land was falling out from under you, so you didn't even want to walk to the edge because you thought it might just fall out. Now that I've seen the grass and the trees, it just, it looks beautiful.